Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Peter and Mary broke up. Are you serious? I think it's about time that we had to go. What? Won't you have more drinks? I'd love to, but I have to get up early tomorrow and get to the office on time. Oh, I'm sorry, but I wish you could stay. Thank you for a very enjoyable evening and your hospitality. Don't mention it. You can come whenever you are free. So, Peter, do you have a favorite comedy? Well, that's hard to say because there are so many good ones. I don't think I could pick a favorite. You know what comedy I really like? Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I think Jim Carrey is really funny. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorite flicks. I think Jim Carrey is one of the funniest comedians ever. I agree. But even though I like comedies, I usually prefer more serious films. My favorite movie is Titanic. Which university did you graduate from? I graduated from Songhua University. When did you graduate? I graduated from it in 2002. Where can I get the information, Kate? Ask John. He is sure to know about it. Why? He has a finger in the pie. Welcome back, soccer fans. My name is Rick Fields and, as always, I am joined by my commentating wingman, Bob Copeland. And we're on the brink of soccer history today, as Ecuador and Brazil are tied 1-1 as we begin the second half of the 2022 World Cup. The ref calls the players for the kickoff, and here we go. Ecuador quickly passes the ball to the midfield, but, oof, it's out of bounds. That will be a throw-in for Brazil. Adriano has the ball and makes a long pass to Robin and the ref has called him offside. No question about it. He was offside by a mile. We have a goal kick for Ecuador. Edison Mendez heads it to Valencia. He shoots. Deflected by the defender and we have a corner kick. Delgado takes the corner. We have a foul. Oh no. Did. The goalkeeper. Has fouled the Ecuadorian player. He gets a yellow card and that will be a penalty kick. This is the perfect opportunity for Ecuador to get ahead in this match and become world champions. He gets ready for the kick. He shoots. And he. Hi, Michelle. Do you need to use the photocopier? Oh, hi Jeremy. No please, go ahead. So how are you, Jeremy? I was talking to Linda about you only last week. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I'm super busy with work actually. Did you hear about the Lawson contract? No, tell me more. Well, I was discussing the contract with Bill and he said that they met the head of Lawson's last week. And? And hopefully they are going to confirm the deal on Wednesday, fingers crossed. That's great news, Jeremy. Congratulations. Anyway, I must get back, but give my regards to your wife Monica. I will, Michelle. Speak to you soon. So Jen, what did you think of William? Did you guys have a nice time on your first date? Oh yeah, it was great. He took me to an Italian restaurant and we had an amazing conversation. I told him about how many kids I want, 
and how my parents will be so excited to meet him. You said all that on the first date? All right, well, are you two going out again? Yeah, I called him after I got home to arrange our next date. But unfortunately, his grandma is sick, so he has been busy every night visiting her in the hospital. Guess what? Paul and Susan are engaged. Really? When did that happen? A week ago? They met last summer and now just sink. They will be married soon. Have they set a date for the wedding? No, not yet. But Susan says they'd like to get married in November or December. Then they'll go to Hawaii for their honeymoon. Hey man, how's it hanging? Hey man, everything is just groovy, baby. Did you go to the roller rink on Saturday? I heard it was far out, man. I wanted to, but I ran into this foxy lady that just moved to my block. I was chatting her up a bit and then we mellowed out at her place. Right on, right on. Well, Jim went to the rink with Sherry and he said it was die no mite. He was low on bread, but Sherry paid for everything. Gravy. Jim is such a jive turkey man. He is always hitting me up for cash. Anyway, you want a book and go grab some grub? Yeah, man, I'm starving. How was your trip to America? We had a fantastic time. Did you go to the Magic Kingdom? No, but we went to the Kennedy Center. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow, free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.